So we just came back from Senator Ben Cardin's office. He is the head of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, and he will be playing host to Benjamin Netanyahu at the joint session of Congress. You know, it's interesting because two other senators rejected playing host. That was uh, Chuck Schumer and Patty Murray. But Ben Cardin said, oh, I'll do it. So we went to his office very angry. I think it's just abhorrent that we would even invite this individual who's been responsible for a genocide, for incomprehensible war crimes, massacre after massacre, even in the past couple of weeks. It's, it's disgusting, frankly, and th there is no way to morally justify this. Benjamin Netanyahu is violating the Foreign Assistance Act and the Leahy laws, which means he shouldn't be getting any money or weapons from us, and he definitely shouldn't be coming here to speak to Congress. I just can't fathom that my senator is the one presiding over this. I've called your office so many times. I have written so many emails, not one response, nothing. And it's, it's insulting. I mean, how is it that he's representing me? and my family and he's not so anybody want to say how you felt in there don't feel like he cared much about uh palestinians and being fair-minded and instead he was just talking about continuing to host a war criminal and frankly didn't think a thing of it and looked proud of that decision as a marylander it's just embarrassing it's embarrassing at least two others turned down the opportunity to preside over the Senate while Benjamin Netanyahu speaks because he's a war criminal and a horrible person who's responsible for the deaths of tens of thousands of people. Um, Senator Cardin can stop the transfer of weapons and he's just continuing to um, to approve them to let them go through and it just sounds very insincere when he says he doesn't agree with with Netanyahu when he continues those weapons transfers and he decides to preside over um, Netanyahu's address to Congress. I mean, even beyond looking at like the international law, the law even within the U.S., I mean, if you just look at some of the statements that Bibi has made about Gaza and about the Palestinians, saying that he wants to turn Gaza into a deserted island, you know, all this just outward genocidal rhetoric out in the open. He's made it clear what his intention is as it pertains to Palestinians and like never ever wanting to even think about a state for Palestinians um, and going beyond that to just wanting to annihilate them after October. The fact that this person is coming to address this country is just, it's absurd. Every, like it should be an automatic, there's no way I'm attending, there's no way I'm hosting, um, but it's, Sadly, you know, this is the sad state of the country now.